Hello, Dwayne here, discussing the business of residential construction. Today, I'd like to talk about your construction budget. Now, every project has a budget. I've worked on jobs that were worth well over $20 million. It had a budget. Everybody has a budget. And nobody wants to go over that budget. So how are you going to avoid this on your next project? First, figure out how much money you got. How are you going to get the money? What are you going to do? That's kind of your budget. Now take 90% of that. That's your budget. Leave 10% behind. Trust me, it's coming. It, it may not come to the very end until you go to pick ceramic tile. But it's coming. You're going to find an appliance that you love, a tile that you can't live without, a stone that you just have to have. You're going to need that reserve. So pick your budget, stick at 90%. But how do you know what it's going to cost? Again, you don't know anything about construction. You're a client. You're just hiring people. What do you do? How do you know? There's a team out there who knows. They're called contractors. They price stuff all day, every day. They may be able to quote some stuff off their top of their head, but they may have to sit down with a set of drawings and work up an estimate for you. And I would highly recommend that you get a local builder that you're interested in working with involved in your project early on. You don't have to hire them as the contractor if you don't want to at this stage. And we'll discuss when and how to hire a contractor later, but get them involved. Your architect can tell you, I've got this, I can price it. They're architects, they're designers. No offense, my friends out there in the architecture industry, but they don't really know what pricing is. They don't know how things have changed in the market over time. They can give you a general idea, yeah, we can do this for that. But if you really wanna know what it's gonna cost, ask the guy who's going to be buying all the materials. Ask a local builder. Even if you've gotta pay him for his time, find out. I have worked on more estimates that have never gotten built. Because by the time we got done with the pricing, drawings are done, Permit's ready to go in, send it out for pricing. It's way over budget. The client's fallen in love with the design. They can't live without it. This is what they have to have. But it can't be built for their budget. So it never gets built. The architect spent a lot of time on this. And of course, they got paid. Several builders have spent a lot of time pricing this project. They haven't gotten paid and it's never gonna get built, and the client's dream is crushed. The architect doesn't want that either. So to know what your budget is, get a builder involved. Their preliminary drawings, you're gonna have preliminary pricing. The more detailed the drawings get, the more detailed the contractor's gonna be able to be in getting you to a firm, tight number. But at least you'll have a general idea. You don't wanna start out with a $150,000 budget and have a $300,000 plan. If you know that going in, you can scale it down now, not waste your time, the architect's time. You know, maybe you're getting a one car garage, not a two car garage. Now is the time you can scale it down and get it within that budget for what you're looking for. So take that time out, find a local builder you wanna work with and get that pricing ahead of time as you're going through the process, as you're making those decisions. He will also become a resource. Hey, what's this going to cost me if I want to add an elevator to the house? He can make some phone calls and give you a general idea. Hey, you're, you're talking about $30,000, whatever the price may be, but you'll know. So utilize those resources. They're out there. Don't just rely on the one resource of your architect. Again, they're designers. I love them to death, can't live without them, but I don't trust their pricing. If you have any more questions regarding constructions, read my articles below or drop me a quick note about your ongoing project or a project you're planning on starting in the future. I'd be more than happy to help. That's what I'm here for. I want your next project to be a success.
Thank you.